this is Olympia and welcome to another video. So today we are checking out Big Bonnie and Farrah's like, what's it called? Like, I don't know what it's called. Um, combination thingies with the tack and the recycling and stuff. So it's actually at Farrah's workshop in Vaildale and there's codes to go with it. So every day this week until next Tuesday, they're going, Star Stable on their Instagram are going to be releasing a code that goes, that releases a bit of the tap, a bit of the clothing set that goes with the, um, tack set. And this is the first bit. This is the first one. So they're the gloves. And they actually look really good for the gloves, you know? I like the white detailing. It's pretty cool. Um, and the only thing that you have to, like, do in return is read about um how to sustainably source clothes so you know that's a pretty good deal <laughs> i read about sustaining polymers and stuff i learned about this because i went on a um conservation learning course <laughs> basically so i learned about this but basically um if you get polyester some uh, clothing piece it has microplastics in it so when you wash it microplastics go into the um washing machine and then they go into the ocean and or when you get rid of it at the end of its life cycle then obviously plastic and it doesn't degrade plus it's made from crude oil which means that obviously the plastic and crude oil they're not very good um for each other i didn't need to go anywhere for this did i pretty sure i can just go to here so conscious gatherer yes yeah, so you can now make things with um, and it's yellow as well, so I can actually make the tunic, so I think... Wait, actually no, this, um, I actually like the horse stuff a lot better. Um, so you can have the conscious gatherer and stuff. There's a really nice saddle pad. Oh, um, I think it's in the global store. Oh yes, this. It is so gorgeous. And this is like the entire tack set together. I love the boots and I, oh, that's actually really cheap. I'm actually gonna save for this, I think, because it's actually, I'm not gonna save for the saddle. I never get saddles. I just use the same ones, but I will definitely get that um, thing with the boots because it's actually a really cute like set. And this is what the gloves go with and the thing in the, <laughs> the thing in the, uh, the codes. So yeah, um, I'm gonna, ma I'm gonna make something uh, in the workshop just to show you like what it is that you can do get um, so I'm gonna make yellow cloth I think it was I have so much like I've been picking up flowers but I haven't actually been making anything with them so I have now like 90 something odd um, I hope it's yellow cloth jeez um, I have now like something 90 something I have a ridiculous amount of stuff <laughs> But I don't, I don't have any moss, that's the thing. I, I collect all this um, jute and stuff, and then I don't have moss. And you think it'd be really easy to find, but apparently it's not. So this is my last, second to last update that I'll be doing at, in school, when I'm after school. Because after today, well after tomorrow, next Wednesday, um, next Friday I'm leaving school, so next Wednesday will be the last update I do after school, ever. I'm only five. Ah, <laughs> five. Right, let's get another yellow cloth. I was saving to upgrade the horse because I haven't done it very much because I don't jump on that much during the week at the moment because obviously revision, exams, stress, like feeling burnt out by the time I get home, that kind of thing. So I don't really do it that much, but um, I should because it's actually more fun than I give it credit for. So this is the tunic and excuse the fact that it's on purple because obviously I am wearing purple tack. Hello Raya, and it's very fun. So this is the, I actually really like the whole outfits. I actually really like them. I think they're really cute, especially from the back. I just think that's really cute. <laughs> so yeah. Do we have enough for the the beanie? Because I, if we do, then I'm going to make the beanie because I think then that would be even cuter. Three. Okay, I'm going to make the beanie because it's be really, really cute. <laughs> um, where's the beanie? 
so I need yellow cloth because it's just really cute and then I can get a proper picture and it'll be really cute and I'm gonna put that on in my Instagram lmp.peacechild if you wanna go follow it so when I was doing my PNGs on um, last Sunday I actually really enjoyed doing them and I think I wanna do one of every horse without, without the rider I think I'm gonna take the rider off and just get like pictures of them all without the rider on um, in different ways so I can use them for banners and stuff and thumbnails um so i think that's going to be really fun to do for me personally anyway um and i'm gonna record it because it's actually really um satisfying to watch i was i've watched it so many times because it's just that satisfying and i don't know if that's just me being a bit weird or not there we go now i can get proper picture Veldale was so pretty i don't want to get any of the purple so now i have the first two at least and now I don't have any of the recycling stuff. So I used it all. Um, but that's fine, I'll go back around and grab some more stuff later. So that's all there is in this update, I think. I'm just gonna check that. Oh, there's no more cold tolerance in Natchez since I'm so close to Dino Valley. We're gonna go Dino Valley because there's no more cold tolerance horses because they thought it was very unfair because why should some horses be punished? I actually quite like the fact that you had to get certain horses and encourage you to buy different horses um and also it made sense if it's really cold and a horse isn't adapted to that cold then and it kind of makes some breeds kind of useless if you don't want to get them so oh that was stupid so you know um i think it's just kind of a bit i liked it before but i know a lot of people actually prefer it without cold tolerance because obviously they want pictures or they want to um run about in dino valley without or like club horses and stuff you don't have to change them when you go to Dino Valley um so I can see why it's beneficial to a lot of people but I just preferred it without so you can see that I can now run freely I can still run and jump and do everything perfectly fine in Dino Valley I don't think I've missed anything so I guess oh the code for today I can give it to you is fabric um seeing as you've listened to my <laughs> polyester stuff so the code today is fabric um no capitals like just lowercase fabric and it gives you the gloves so you're welcome <laughs> thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow my instagram olympia.peacechild follow my twitch olympia peacechild and i will see you in the next video bye